why why do all famous people move to LA? Uh, I'm not famous, but thank you. Um, let's just take and go rook d1. I'm just a chess player, you guys. I just push wood. Just to give you guys guys an overview of what the Scotch Gambit accepted is. I didn't mean to hit that. Um, the Scotch Gambit accepted is an opening. It starts with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, pawn to d4. Pawn takes pawn, bishop c4. Now here, black has many options. Black can play bishop to c5, knight f6, even maybe bishop to b4 here is an idea as well. Um, however, today we're going to be doing the accepted one, which is bishop c5, pawn to c3, pawn takes pawn. And so we're going to be starting from this, this position with being white, white to move. And um, that's what we're going to be doing uh, to start out the stream today. Okay, so I think bishop f7 is a move. I think, I think I'll play bishop f7 and queen d5 here. Thank you the cherry O for the three months. Thank you so much to cherry O. Now, I think this line is, is playable for black. This is also supposed to be completely fine objectively, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Do I use any oils? No, I don't use any oils. Definitely not. Okay, let's trade some trade some queens playing endgame. I think this position, it's even material. It's kind of an endgame, but I think white should be slightly better, maybe. Maybe not. Can go knight d5, maybe. Can go bishop f4. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play here in h3. You can literally force this position every time you play white. Um, true, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing a Scotch Gambit accepted. We can. I'll probably do a Scotch Gambit one, or not, uh, Scotch Gambit without the whole Bishop C5 line down the road, but today we're doing the Scotch Gambit accepted. Okay, I can play knight d5 here. I can also go knight d4, maybe rook d1 or rook c1 here. How often do I wash my hair? Um, I shower like every day, of course. Let's go knight d5 here. Let's go a3. How are you top one in FIDE blitz rating? Uh, because I'm I'm fairly good at blitz. It's kind of a weird question, dude. Not gonna lie, very weird. Hmm. Let's see. What are the moves that I have here? Um. I guess I'll go here and rook d1. Not really crazy about my position, I guess. Soap is not good for the hair every day. Uh, you sh shamu, not um, not not uh, not um, not soap. Let's go rook d one. He is at least decent. We can all agree on that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go here and maybe try to rotate my knight. Possibly. Let's go here. Maybe knight f four. Okay, let's go bishop c1 maybe if you don't mind me asking how old are you i'm uh, i'm 29 years old right now not a day over 29 let's go knight e3 maybe b4 bishop b2 i actually think my knight knight is very good on e3 uh, i'm gonna go here and bishop b2 try to open up this diagonal um it was 95 i'm gonna go king g2 Actually, not knight f five. Although it doesn't do, I guess I'll just go here. Hit the hit this diagonal as well. Have I seen Dark on Netflix? Uh, I watched bits of it. Not not. I I never got through season three. I watched the first two seasons completely, but I never got through season. Uh, I never got through uh, season three completely. I almost believed you. Sheesh. Yes, exactly. Okay, let's go. Rook c two. Guard the pawn here. Move the knight. Next move. Can you play league at some point? Maybe. What, wait, what? What was that? My man just lost his mind. I don't know what that was. Yeah. 
Very weird. Uh, let's just take the pawn. My nickname is Drakamura, so I wouldn't be surprised. That's actually, that's kind of a mistake. And the, the reason that it, what a lot of people don't understand is that chess, when you play these tournaments, especially online, is that it's all about the strategy of the format. It's the, based on what the format is, determines how you play the game. So even though I draw a lot of games in these chess champion tour events, the reason the games end in draws is because it, it suits the format is good for both the players. Like it's all about the top, top, uh, top eight players. So Michelle Carey, yeah, actually, I, um, I don't know if I should say this or not, but yesterday after my stream, I went and did a, um, I did an interview with her for, for, I think she's doing like a YouTube video on chess at some point. So, um, so I actually was doing that. Uh, I was doing that yesterday afternoon. Very, very, she's a very, very nice person. Um, let's, let's trade and maybe go E5 again. Oh, that's a minority idiotic view. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, obviously. No, Jabava, even even though he beat me individually in our game, he actually, I think, lost to um he lost to Artemiev, I think, like a round or two after that, and he didn't end up winning, which was very sad because he he obviously played very well. I mean, she's doing a video, that's but that's not leaking anything. I'm just gonna take and go 94 here. Arena King starts in um an hour fifteen. Do I think chess.com should make a hyperbolic category for 30 seconds and under? Obviously, not even a question. If you can do it, it doesn't mean you should do it. Of course you should do it because the only thing that matters is is trying to is trying to make it into the tour finals. So you're absolutely wrong. I don't know what you're smoking, dude. Okay, I'm gonna take and go knight g3 here, maybe just castle. I'm gonna play this like a true gambit. We're gonna gambit a knight here on f3 and go from there. You shouldn't do it. That that's like saying that's like you you know what a good example of that is? That's like that's like that movie Tin Cup. So Tin Cup is that golf movie with Kevin Costner, and he's playing, uh, I think, is it, is it Don Johnson? Is it Don Johnson, I think, who's, like, the other golfer guy? And basically, you know, he gets, he gets to, like, what, the 17th hole, 17th or 18th green, what, 18th hole, whatever it is. He's, he has, you know, he has to go, he can go over the water and one or lay up and then get, get to the green. And what does he do? Like, he, he, he loses all his balls. Um, okay, your guys are going to make that sound weird. But, but anyway, he basically, he goes and tries to hit it onto the green and one, like, nonstop. And, um... He does that nonstop, and of course, it doesn't work out. Now they glorify it basically, and they say how 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 great it is. Um, but the thing is, that's not that's not reality. <laughs> that's not reality, you guys. Um, oh God, here we go. Anyway, the point is, he he doesn't lay up. He tries he tries to hit it on the green every single time. And that's that's like the same thing. It's like, well, well, look, you know, am, am I going to try to win every game or play every game out because like maybe I'll win one of those games and look like a hero, or am I going to be practical? It's like a long tournament. You know, there there are a lot of a uh, lot of games to be played. Like, of course, I, of course, I'm going to do what's what's practical. Thank you to Is Grimed for the five months. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Did I just blunder? I think I just blundered again. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, he's got well it's not it's not a huge blunder. It's just not the great greatest way to play this. Okay, I can take I guess I just trade and take. What was the last non chess book you read? Uh I've been reading um I've been rereading this book called Carrying the Fire. It was written by Michael Collins, the, the third astronaut who was um, who went to the moon with Neil Armstrong and uh, Buzz Aldrin. So I've been reading rereading that recently. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I surely I can't win this, but let's let's try to do something. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna actually play a five. Maybe I could have gone b four. Okay, let's go b four. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to run, but this should just be a draw. Does the ring have any meaning? Uh, it has some meaning. I wouldn't say like anything like super specific, but there is some meaning to it. Have I watched Tenet? Yes, I actually, I, I have watched Tenet. Yeah. Thank you to know, Wizard Guru for the Prime and Matt, Matthew HK for the two months. I'm gonna try to win this pawn on D6 here. Uh, Tenet to me was a very hard movie to really understand. Uh, I'm getting close to winning here. I might be winning actually. Wait. I think I'm winning. Because it's, it's opposition. 
Or I get this way. We need a bowling for the six months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, I go here. Do I go uh, H4, B6, A6, B7, H2? I think I have to take. Okay, now the way... Uh, this is going to be very hard to win. Okay, let's go... Oh, I've, I've got no time. I just realized. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I've got check and I win. Wow. Okay, let's play an end game. Let's play like Magnus Carlson. Let's play Queen D5. Let's take. Thank you to Mathis for the foremost. I'm going to take actually here. I'm going to give a pawn because my opponent can't castle. Uh, Mathis says, thanks, Jim, for bringing so much excitement to the sport chest. Thank you so much, Mathis. Appreciate it. Let's go here. Can I do a Pyrrhic defense? Of course I can. Actually, these openings are uh, the openings that my stepfather played a lot. Um, so these are uh, these are actually openings that he... These are his openings. Hikaru, can you give the definition of family-friendly? I don't think it's very fr family-friendly. I think it's very fr family-friendly. If it wasn't family-friendly, I would say, Frick, 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 Frick. Okay, let's go knight d2 here. Um, anyway, so let's play knight d2. So, yeah, let's keep going. I have knight h4 here or queen b3 maybe. Uh, queen b3 looks pretty good to hit the pawn on b7. <laughs> okay, let's play um, knight g5. So I think I'm just going to go rook one here. I like your hair today. Gives, gives me 90 vibes. Yeah, I did shower today. If I didn't shower today, why would my hair look so perfect? Sheesh, that's some rough language. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to play queen a4 here. Maybe pressure take with the knight on f3 here. Oh, wait, wait, is there? There's an actual Reddit R chess post? Wait, actually, there's an R post. There's a post. Okay, let me finish this game, and then we'll go. We'll take a break from the viewer arena, and we'll pull this up. Okay, I can play Bishop A7. I can also go, like, Rook C4. Okay, I can take here. Let's go B4, B5. Why is everyone saying, sheesh? Okay, um, I don't know. I'm going to go here, maybe A4, B5. Can I, can I do some Aussie Man reacts? Aussie Man, I was watching Aussie Man years ago. Like, the guy's amazing. Um, and then I'm just going to drop back. I want to go A4, B5, basically. Um, I think A4 is okay. I still want B5 at some point. What, what did someone say? If you train, what's this? Okay, I can take obviously. Um, let's go here, hit the knight, ever c7, maybe queen f3. I think this is good for me. I also have queen d6 or just queen f3. Thank you to Hunter Fink for the eight months. Hey, Nikolai for the four. Thank you to Big Boy Marty for the 15. Namus Gallery for the seven. Confronted zero for the prime. Check, and we win the game. GG is my man. Okay, we keep going. Where have I been? I've been to I've been in Tel Aviv and I've been in a lot um in the Negev. Let's go G5 and Knight H5. Why is the game not starting from the beginning? Because we're doing themed uh, view arenas where we start with a set opening. That's why.
Most remote place I've been? Um, I mean, it depends what your definition of remote is. I would say probably most remote place I've been. I've been pretty far up. I've been pretty far up north in BC. Um, in British Columbia, I mean. Uh, which, of course, as you guys know, British Columbia is in Canada. It's not, um, it's not in Washington, D.C. Because uh, certain streamers seem to think that it was in Washington, D.C. for some reason. Um, but uh, um, I think it's... Uh, actually, no, sorry, it wasn't that. They thought that, they thought that British Columbia was in, uh, in England, I think is what they said. But anyway, um, let's go see Six and Bishop C7. No, I think actually I saw a clip. It was Tim the Tatman. He he thought that uh the British Columbia was in uh was in was in England or something. Like I I I, I didn't I didn't understand it, but um because there was some clip on 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 Twitter of JD Courage, and I think he was asking something, and, and yeah, like uh basically um basically yeah, that's like that's what he said. Probably yeah, I would say probably I mean certain parts of, of Vancouver or not Vancouver, but Vancouver Island, maybe even north up like Squamish area. It's not really remote. You could say some of the Salt Spring Islands are a little bit remote in a sense up in BC, uh, but that's about it. I mean, I would say actually also when I was in uh, when, when I was in um, Kagoshima in Japan, that it's not remote per se, but it's very very quiet, very very quiet. Is that okay or not? Just so, no, of course you don't show the first page. Obviously, I know. I mean, I get that, but like, oh visas, oh visas, ah visas can contain passport numbers. Good point. I didn't think about that. True, that's a good point. And actually, somehow I'm just doing terribly here because I can't castle again. Let's go here. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's pro it's probably just yeah, it's just it's too risky. Yeah, it's just too risky. How many African countries have I been to? Not many actually. Um <laughs> Let's go rook B8 here. Thank you to Pass Pond for the 30 months. Thank you so much for the 30 months, man. Appreciate it. No, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I could, if, if I had my old passport, I could probably show it, but yeah, it's like no point. Nothing but downside if I do that. I've never been to the Philippines. How's the arm? It's okay. Uh, it's okay. As long as I don't try to, to really move it a lot, like really fast, it's completely fine. My favorite city in Canada is obviously Vancouver. Greatest city in the world. Let's go here. Okay. Let's go here. Oh, uh, let's go here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, because nothing came out. Because the problem is, I was I was drinking some fuel, and it's like I, I kind of sneezed at the same time, so some fuel went on my hand. So I, I had to like lick the fuel off my hand. Let's go back. That because I, I literally I still had I was just drinking something at the same time. Let's go here. Let's go back at the pond on a, on a you disgust me. Let's go here. <laughs> Sanitary gem award, right? Let's go here. Have I ever been to Montreal? Yeah, of course I have. Let's go B six and takes. But yeah, best city in Canada is obviously Vancouver. Not even close. Let's 
go let's go for the double stack here there, there are a lot of threats here and I, like i can take and take f3 why not montreal because i, I would say the thing is montreal's very i don't know it's 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 fine as a city but it, I, I don't know it doesn't have the natural beauty i mean it feels too european to me i'm not like biased against europe but like i i uh i spent enough time in europe it's that's just i mean it feels too european or too too much of an attempt to be european <clears throat> let's go check We've got the legendary Ali Ekans gun here in the center of the board. One, two, three. I need XX Rex for the two months. Thank you so much. Have you ever been to China? Yeah, I've been to Shanghai. Am I Disney the most beautiful continent? Hardly. But I would disagree that it's the most beautiful continent. I would also disagree on that. I think a Asia Asia is amazing. Let's go here. And we can take play G5 next move. It's pretty good. I've been to the Netherlands uh, a lot of times as well. I mean, I've been to the Netherlands like probably... I mean, I've been through Schiphol or however... Schiphol, Schiphol, however you pronounce the airport... Uh, more times than I than I than I'd like to re recall. Um, uh, so I've I've probably been through the Netherlands like at least like at least ten times, at least if not more. Like I I mean it's a lot, a lot. Just take. I, I how do you is it do you pronounce it Skipple or Shipple? How do you pronounce it? I thought it was Skipple, but I could be wrong. Is Skip Howell? You would pronounce it like Skip Howell? Okay. If you're not Dutch, it's impossible to pronounce it. Okay. Makes sense. Is there any place you haven't been but you want to? Uh, Australia and New Zealand. I really want to go to those two places. Let's just take... Thank you to Jub Jub for the um for the prime. Thank you to wonderful NA for the prime and Ryuga chest for the eleven months as well. Thank you so much. Um so we finished the arena fifty seven. Not great, not terrible. Um Lord Keen Bote wins with twenty two wins, seven losses, one draw. Second place, Harris Paten with twenty wins, four losses, two draws. Um this last game I would have I would have won if if, uh, if if there wasn't the timer because Queen F4 is checkmate and it's just unstoppable here. King is completely stuck here, so it's just game over. Um but yeah, 